Hello guys, today we're going to have a look at 5 best zombie games that you can play in 2022. Our first option is State of Decay 2. The first part of State of Decay is better if you are looking for a compelling narrative, but the sequel does a commendable job of developing the previous game's concept to create a more enjoyable, survival and open world experience. State of Decay 2 offers a straightforward but entertaining core loop and plays like an RPG. You will choose a protagonist from your group of survivors and send them into wilderness in search of food, fuel or medicines that others need to survive. Once they collapse into bed back home or under the blows of undead, you can take control of another character from your base with their own background, personality and combat abilities. Our next option is an open war strategy game with zombies which is called Project Zomboid. It's a survival game that is intentionally very challenging. You naturally try your best to avoid dying by robbing homes, erecting barriers and ruthlessly eliminating zombies. This game is exceptional because of its extreme difficulty. You'll find yourself exploring properties, locating resources and safety. Since zombies can see and hear, extreme caution is required. They will swarm you with hundreds of them if you're discovered in the open. To remain undetected, employ line of sight and shadows. The depth of the game becomes more clear as you advance. To survive, you'll find yourself dropping sheets over windows and turning off the lights. Our following game is World War Z, which is based on 2013 Brad Pitt movie of the same name. The campaign currently consists of four chapters, each of which is located in a different city and has three levels that you may complete with up to three teammates, or you can go alone helped by three bots. Your squad must cooperate with one another and defend one another as you navigate through zombie mosh pits, look for missing keycards, search corpses and all that stuff of that kind. However, you'll always have a great time utilizing absurdly strong weapons to neutralize hundreds of zombies in a second. These weapons are so destructive that you want to use them right now. It's so empowering to know that any weapon can kill at least one zombie with a single shot especially when an advanced horde knows they can compete with you and your RPG. Our next title is Old But Gold Left 4 Dead 2. In this group first player shooter, you and your bodies take the role of a group of survivors and will have to battle through limitless waves of infected people. I believe Left 4 Dead 2 doesn't really require an introduction, but just a reminder that this game exists and is still playable. The game is almost as ancient as Steam is and in its 13 year history the number of players has never dropped below 5 digits. Basically, it's one of the most popular and well-liked games on the Steam platform, available from 2009. All this serves to emphasize how incredible Left 4 Dead 2 was and still remains. In Left 4 Dead, in order to get to a safe house on another side of the map, you and your team must go across a fairly linear map together. You can explore a little along the way to collect new equipment and be ready for more difficult conflicts that will come. Also, there is a variety of special infected that are scattered throughout each map, each with their own abilities and a high potential to harm you and your team if you're not careful. However, the majority of enemies that you will fight are simple, common infected that are weak on their own but are dangerous in a group. And our last title for today is Left to Survive, which is a free-to-play third-person shooter set in a zombie-infected post-apocalyptic world that combines arcade-style shooting mechanics with a secondary game mode including base management. Players will progress through a story-driven PvE campaign with many distinct levels, where their marksmanship with diverse weaponry will be tested. The major progression strategies are gathering resources and building up your base, as you require stronger guns and armor to take on more challenging missions. In addition to character customization, other game elements such as PvP combat are available. While it's free to play, the cash store might be intrusive, but it's a pleasant game that provides you a nostalgic trip. And that's it for today, please let me know in the comments what games would you personally add to the list of best zombie games. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the vid and subscribe for more content like that. See you next time.